Are you struggling to increase your combat power? Do you see all your friends and guildmates continue to rise in combat power while you struggle? If that's the case, stay tuned. It's legit here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to increase your combat power. I'm going to go over the ways to increase combat power and some tips and tricks on combat power. If this is your first time in my channel, make sure you check out the description down below for some badass Black Desert Mobile content. You won't be disappointed. Alright, so in order to increase your combat power, you really need to understand where does combat power come from. There's really three main areas. The first area is your weapons, your armor, and your accessories. The second area, which is probably the biggest area, is your black spirit, which encompasses his combat power himself, as well as the enhancement, the crystals, and the light stones all have combat power abilities in them, or abilities to increase your combat power. And the last is odds and ends. I'm going to count that. Uh, the first one is collections. You can get some combat power from collections tab. And then the other one is knowledge tab. You can get some combat power from the knowledge tab. Actually, a lot from the knowledge tab. So those are the three main areas. We're going to go over the first one. The first one is your uh, weapons, armor, and accessories. The first thing I want you to focus on in here is really focus on getting your resonances up, whether it's your bonus effect, gear resonance, or accessory resonance. The first one we're going to talk about is bonus effect. Bonus effect strictly affects when your combat power gets to a certain level, you get this bonus effect. For instance, if your combat power gets to 1900, you get a free 100 combat power, plus 50 attack, plus 50 defense, putting your combat power at 2000. At 2200 combat power, it gives you plus 300 HP. HP doesn't uh, attribute towards combat power, but it still gives you three extra 300 HP. When you get to 2500 combat power, base combat power, you get another 100 free combat power, and the same thing when you get to 2800. So that's 300 free combat power if you get your combat power base to 2800. So it's going to put you to 3100, but your base is 2800 because of these bonus effects. That's one way. The second way is through your gear resonance. When you get your armor and your weapons to plus 15, you get plus 3 attack. Plus 18, you get plus 10. It's not stacking either. It, it adds on to it. So plus 3 to plus 7 and plus 2 would mean you're adding plus 6 on top of the plus 3, to give you an example. Uh, and it, is, it just keeps going and going. So you really want to focus on getting your armor and your weapons to plus 20, plus 23, plus 25. Because as you can see here, it does uh, increase your combat power combat power pretty much especially when you get it to plus 28 it's adding 39 combat power 48 combat power the next one is accessory resonance so when you get all of your accessories it's the same thing as your armor plus three plus four plus five etc instead of increasing combat power it does increase combat power but it doesn't until you get to plus five it really focuses on your branch damages so it gives you a plus one plus two plus four then at uh, gear re accessory resonance plus five it does add 10 combat power as you can see here it just continues to go when you get to plus 10 on your accessory resonance you get plus 10 on branch damage and plus 20 combat pl uh, power total so that is another way so there is a lot of combat power inside of your resonances and your bonus effects that's the first thing you want to do the second thing you want to focus on is getting armor and weapons that have two crystal slots because these extra crystal slots allow you to add crystals that increase your combat power. So for instance, this helmet here has two slots. It increases my defense combat power by plus six and my attack combat power by plus five, giving me another 11 combat power. If I only had one slot on that, it would only give me a plus five or a plus six. I'd be losing some combat power. If you have that on every single piece of your gear, so times six times another slot, that's another six slots times uh, you know six. That could be a potential extra 35 to 40 combat power in your gear. So make sure you have the right gear. Always go for the gear that has two slots. I do strongly recommend going for accessories that are green or blue. I am a free-to-play player. Um, I am currently ranked 300th. 329th. As a free-to-play player, I strongly recommend going for greens and blues in your accessories. You can get your blues to, you know, plus 8 is still solid for a blue. If you go for the blues on a plus 8, that's going to give you more combat power than what I have. Uh, but it's going to obviously give you less branch damage by that 4%. If you're looking to just increase your combat power, not to you know have branch damage bonus effects or anything like that, you can go for yellow accessories. They are stronger than a plus 10 on a green accessory. Uh, however, it's, you're going to lose all those extra accessory resonance effects. And to get a plus you know, 5 on a yellow accessory is going to take a little while if you're a free-to-play player. So I strongly recommend going for blues and greens. You can still you know get your combat power up. I still have a 
lot of ways to go on my armor, especially since they unlocked plus 35. So there is a lot of room to, to move. I can slowly move over to blues and purple accessories as I, as I grow. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about with the Black Spirit is the most important, one of the most important things you can focus on with increasing your combat power, and that is your dark energy experience. If you focus, if you look at right here, my dark energy experience is at 53%, which is pretty good. If I was a pay to win, it'd probably be like 60, maybe 65% max. So I'm happy with 53%. I know a lot of you guys out there are probably at the 40s and 30s and 20%. I strongly recommend that getting that up to 50%. The ways to get that up to 50% is focus on this top right light stone. Uh, it does increase your dark energy experience. Mine is by 22%. If you have a purple, it's probably sitting yeah, 19, 20%. So focus on getting the, a light stone in the top right. I actually don't care what my top right light stone says and below it. I focus on that dark energy experience above all for that light stone. All right, some other ways to increase your dark energy experience. The other ways I have it is my pets. All of my pets that I have equipped at the moment have dark energy experience on them. This one's giving me eight, this one's giving me seven, this one's giving me six. So that's an extra 22% dark energy experience. So I have 44% extra dark energy experience from those items right there alone. So a pro tip for you guys to help increase your black spirit level the quickest once you have your dark energy experience to the highest you can get it you know 40 45 53 percent like i have you're going to want to start feeding him as much as possible so a you obviously feed him the stuff that you you get from farming b what i also do is i actually make uh five to ten million silver a day from farming from my uh, camp the resources i sell them on the market and then i actually buy weapons i actually bought this ultimate talus long sword cost me 2.2 million silver and then i actually feed it to my black spirit weapons actually have more experience fed to the black spirit or yeah more experience fed to the black spirit than you know armor does so i focus on weapons and i focus on buying the cheapest one doesn't matter which one it is at that time just whatever the cheapest one is and then i feed it to my black spirit and it increases your black spirit level a lot more than a blue or a purple all right, so the next tip to increase your combat power is your crystals. You want to focus on crystals that give plus attack or plus defense. You want to focus on purples and yellows. Obviously, you got to grow up to that. It is part of the leveling game. But all the crystals you have equipped, if you want to focus on just combat power, is plus attack and plus defense. I do like my branch damage AAL, so I try to go for that if I can. But I do have all of my crystals are plus attack or plus defense. I would prefer all plus attack, but as I get there, I will work on that. That is my yellow one, it was nice, so I did go for that. But the tip is to go for all plus attack or plus defense on your crystals. The same thing holds true for your light stones. You can go for light stones that have plus attack and plus defense on them if you just want combat power. The fourth and final way to increase your combat power through your black spirit is through enhancing your gear. You guys know how this goes. You feed it some, some black stones and you increase your weapon. Nothing too crazy there. That's just a standard way. If you're curious as to what percentage I use, I use 30%. I always go for 30%. It seems to work out pretty well for me. I did do some research at well as well and it seems like 30% out from what I hear is the best percentage to go. If you don't think 30% is the best, by all means, you can drop the comment down below. I'm curious to what percentage you guys roll at some people are like oh i only go to 100 percent. some people are like i only do 10 percent. some you know whatever works for you work it but i do 30 percent, and that's what i rock all right so the last thing that we're going to talk about to increase your combat power is your co is your collections and your knowledge so you really want to focus on completing these i know this collection just came out two days ago and i have most of it completed if you look at the top of the these collections so for instance this one right here gives two plus two defense and that one gives plus two defense. If you complete these up here, plus two defense, plus two defense, two, three, two, three. So three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 combat power in the first tab. And then there's four combat power in the second tab that did just come out. So there's 18 total combat power in your collections tab. And I'm not gonna tell you how much total combat power is in your knowledge. I can just tell you that it's a lot. If you look at the adventure tab or character tab and look at all the combat power it gives you so for instance hands gives plus one attack cliff defense klaus attack all those different ones are each individual give combat power so you do definitely want to focus on completing your knowledge 
If you're having a hard time completing your knowledge, you're not sure on where to go for some of these people, I did make a knowledge video. You can check that out. The same thing holds true for your boss rushes. So for instance, if you go into your boss rushes and you look at some of these, so for instance, Yuraka gives attack plus four. So when you complete Yuraka and it levels up his knowledge, you increase your combat power. If you were to do Hexa Marie, increase her knowledge, it gives you max HP, which is great. It doesn't increase your combat power. So you can also focus on getting your boss rushes done that do focus on attack and defense. Don't forget to pick up your weapon and outfit skin. You can't get it from the market occasionally. If you can't get them from the market, don't worry. You can make them in your camp as well from your die workshop. So make sure you guys craft those up for yourself. Each one of those does increase your combat power by plus 10. So that is 20 more combat power to add. That's everything with combat power. I hope that helps you guys out through your journey in Black Desert Mobile. If you need anything else, you're welcome to join my Discord channel as well as drop a comment down below. With that being said, I will see you next time.